Hi, this is Michael Wadaika from WVVH Hamptons Television. Welcome to M2 in New York City for Fashion Delivers. Tell us about what we're doing here tonight. Thanks for being here, Michael. So tonight is our second annual Pay It Fashion Forward Award, where we'll be honoring five up-and-coming designers for their socially conscious contribution to society. Um, we have, like I said, five individuals, Chloe Jo Berman, Linda Loudermilk, Identity, and Philanthropist Boutique. And then we're also going to be honoring one of our established retailers, Jones Apparel Group, with Westcard CEO attending. So we're really excited to have everyone here tonight. Ken, tonight's an exciting night. What are you planning on accomplishing tonight? Well, obviously we have uh, financial goals for tonight, but the most important thing that we'd like to accomplish is to make sure that the Fashion Delivers brand gets out there and we get people in the fashion industry involved with our organization and continue to increase product donations. It really is about brand awareness um, and ensuring that everybody has a good time, and that's our key objective. Sure. How long has this been going on? Well, our organization was started in 2005 after the wake of Hurricane Katrina, and last year we started our first Pay It Fashion Forward Award. We were actually nominated to be the charity of choice for the American Apparel Award, and so from that we decided to pay that honor forward, pay it forward, and we started the Pay It Fashion Forward event. Now, what do you both do for, for your real jobs? Is this it? Is it? Do you do charity, or is it something more than that? It feels like it, but it's, it's good. We're pretty busy, um, but we both work in the industry, so I formerly worked for limited brands in the retail strategy group. And? and I work for Air Postal. Uh, I'm the Vice President of Investor Media Relations, and this is really a second job. Um, the associate board is very, very active, and we really take on, uh, in terms of the organization, the operations, um, we really look at everything from marketing collateral all the way to the website. So really, really active board um, yeah. and really having fun. Now, it's more than just the two of you. This takes a lot of people to put it together. How long have you been working on it? How many volunteers do you have? Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. So, like we we said the organization was started in 2005 and we have 15 to 20 executive board members. Um, in 2007 we were approached to start an associate board because the organization really wanted to reach a younger demographic to kind of energize the brand um, and build you know, our future industry leaders. So Ken, um, myself and Shania got together and we decided to create this associate board and within six months we brought on close to 18 people and started a network of over 200 people. So we've been going strong for over two years now and we're really excited. Now we're, you're we're raising a lot of product out here. Tell us a little bit about what you've raised and what sort of product. Well, since inception, we've raised $33 million worth of product. Last year, we raised $15 million uh, worth of product. And this year, we're on target to raise $18 million in product. So we're very excited. Uh, we have a lot of people from the industry attending. And hopefully, we can get more companies on board. We have 150 companies that have actually donated product over the last four years. Um, and currently, we have a very aggressive campaign fo focusing on the West Coast, um, which Yasmin actually is headed up. Yasmin, tell us about the California campaign. I'd love to. So we've recently started expanding our organization to the West Coast. I'm located in San Francisco. Um, and so one of the campaigns that we started is called the California Relief Campaign. And specifically, we're trying to help the thousands of people that are really experiencing hard times over there. The number of homelessness has increased at an exponential rate. So tonight, Ernest Sohn has really graciously and generously offered to donate a pair of jeans to the campaign for every ticket sold. And we'll, the campaign will be on going throughout June and we have a goal of raising five million dollars worth of products. Outstanding and all the different um, designers all the different people out thank thank you so much for donating your time you. your money yeah. thank you so much now it's a great night tonight you've done such a wonderful job how long is it how long has it taken to put this all together and who's going to be performing Oh, it's taken a long time, but it's been awesome. It's been great. We have Tamarama. They were on MTV The City. Did you ever watch that? No, I, I Well, um, yeah, that. they <laughs> they're performing, which is huge. And then LL Cool J is, you know, he's cool. Ladies love Cool J. They love him, <laughs> and he's hosting our event. And he has a fashion line coming out. He also has a big show coming up. So just a lot of buzz around this event, and that's what we want to do. We want everyone to know about Fashion Delivers because not a lot of people in the industry know about this organization, and they're doing a good. job job of giving back and we also want to honor pe people who are giving back in the fashion community. Great. Now there's a lot of press here outside of us, you know, so what are, what are other types of press that are out here? Well, we have Gotham Magazine that's attending tonight and they're also one of our sponsors. Um, we have press from all walks of life in the industry from Us Weekly, People Magazine, Women's Wear Daily, um, The Times. 
a lot of right. bloggers too, a lot of the fashion insiders that we right. really want. So we'll be able to see it on the internet. Oh, definitely. Like they're going to be twittering about it like right now. Great. <laughs> I'm here with a bunch of writers. My job is horrible, I tell you. What? <laughs> so happy to be here. Thank you so much for taking the time. So tell me about what we're doing here tonight. We're here for Fashion Pays It Forward. Outstanding. Is everyone from the area? Yeah. New York. New York. New York, yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn. We got another Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house. Anyone else from Brooklyn? Wade. Where? In Wade. Manhattan. All right, there you go. Now, we're, we're writing, what are you guys writing about? I'm a blogger. Bloggers? Writing about fashion and beauty. Where do we find the blogging? Skyletonline.com. Skyletonline.com? That's right. I'd say everyone here works for Skyletonline.com? No, we have to go huh? our own blogs. <laughs> All right, what's your blog? I have nine. Um, right, let's say one of them. Uh, Shopaholics Daily. Shopaholics Daily. Second City Style. Second City Style. The Jet Set Girls. And? FeliciaSullivan.com. How great are you girls? All right, you can write all about this. Send photos, it'll be great. Thank you so much, really appreciate your time, and thanks for giving back. We're with Alan, the founder and chairman of Fashion Delivers. Alan, it's wonderful what you're doing. Tell Thank us you. a little bit about Fashion Delivers. Well, Fashion Delivers was founded just three and a half years ago on the heels of Rita and Katrina, when it became evident that there were a lot of fashion companies, vendors as we call them, that wanted to ship clothing down to the Gulf state, Gulf area, but couldn't figure out a way of doing it. Uh, the Red Cross, unfortunately, was overwhelmed. Salvation Army was overwhelmed. So 30 manufacturers and professional firms got together, uh, and we founded Fashion Delivers. Uh, we partnered up with another charity called KIDS, and within four weeks, we were shipping merchandise to New Orleans. Outstanding, how important. How great. What do you do for your real job? I know this is, isn't, is very important, but what do you do in order to take the time and make the commitment, financial commitment to do this? Uh, I am the managing partner of an investment banking and strategic advisory firm here in New York that works pretty much exclusively in the fashion and apparel industries. Our firm is called MMG, and I founded that firm 20 years ago. Great. Now, how many people do you have working with you in how many in how many states right now? Well, we're we're servicing probably 20, 22 states at the moment. Um, our organization is actually quite small. We don't need a lot of people to do what we do. Um, our job is to match the availability of product with the need. We don't warehouse the product. What we do is we have the vendor ship it from his warehouse or her warehouse right to a family agency throughout the United States. We're working with about a, a, a thousand different family agencies, or we're, at least we're, we have relationships with them, and we, we pick and choose based on their need and what's going on in their geography. Now, let's say I have something I want to deliver, I want to donate. How do I get a hold of you? Uh, well, you can go to our website. You can call us, um, and one of our uh, people will organize uh, finding out what you have, uh, where it needs to be sent to, and we take care of all the work in between. Tell us the website. Uh, fashiondelivers.org. Great, fashiondelivers.org. We're here with Niasha, Miss African USA. Welcome. Thanks for coming by tonight. Thank you so much. Why is this, um, why is this cause so important to you? I think it's always great when people um, in the fashion industry, in the entertainment industry, step out and give back. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited to be here because um, my two passions are fashion and uh, giving back. So. How perfect is that? Tell us about Miss Africa USA. I represent all 53 African countries here in the United States. I was born and raised in South Africa and I grew up. Um, I, well, I've lived here for about 10 years, right. and uh, I now serve as an ambassador for change on humanitarian issues. And a good friend of mine, Isaac. Isaac, come on here. Isaac's from South Africa as well. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Oh, you're going to squad. You never forgot uh, the Afrikaans, huh? No. Where are you from? I'm from Cape Town. East London. Oh, I see. I don't so, like Cape Town. People. How long Just have you been here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's much nicer, though. No, it is. How long have you been here for? Uh, eight years, almost 10 years. Okay. See how small the world is? Thank you so much for your time coming out and your giving back. It's so important to everybody. We're here with the infamous Keisha Johnson. Keisha, how are you? Welcome tonight. Hi, I'm 
Michael. How's it going? Hi, guys. Why are you here? I'm here to support my client, LL Cool J, who's just walked in. I'll be right back. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. My pleasure. It's really important to it, taking the time. And I hear you got a new fashion line coming out. Well, I have a fashion line. You know, um, I have a brand that's serious, but the thing that was important to me is just the fact that, you know, so many people will benefit from this event. And, you know, the, the whole idea of them starting this since, ever since Hurricane Katrina happened and then continuing to give product away and put clothes on the backs of homeless people and homeless kids, um, that's the thing that was exciting to me. So I know it's really important to you giving back everything that you've always done. It, it's so exciting. What What's the next step? What are you doing? What's more? And I also see you also have a new show coming out as well. Well, you know, I have a lot of things going on in my life, but ultimately it's about, you know, it's always about giving, right? And it's always about trying to figure out how we can uh, succeed and, and then after we succeed how we can spread the wealth in terms of not like wealth like some sort of quote unquote socialism but spread the love you know what I'm saying and share with our community and give back and you know that's what it's about. And giving the helping hand up. Janice. Janice, tell me a little bit about kids. Sure. Kids in Distress Situations is a 25-year-old organization that gives new product to children in need all around the United States and the world. Together with Fashion Delivers, which started three years ago, we're able to help families in need, providing kids with shoes and clothes and books and parents with um, clothes as well and with home furnishings. Great. Now, how do people get involved with this? It's such a wonderful organization. Tell us how they get involved. Well, there's a few ways. We're always looking for new product sponsors and donors and for volunteers for both of our organizations. So you can simply go to our website and check us out, fashiondelivers.org and KIDS.org. Great. Now tell us a little bit about the new association in California. Sure. Um, when the um, economy declined so dramatically, the greatest amount of poverty and homelessness was in California. People living in tents and trailers on the streets. And Fashion Delivers and KIDS decided to do a campaign to get close to these people living in those circumstances. And we're having a big um, launch on July 7th, July 8th, July 8th in LA to make sure that people know the need to take care of people who otherwise would not have the product that they require in order to survive. We can't applaud you enough. Thank you so much. Out there to challenge. Come on out, help out, give what you can, give your time if you can't give any money. And if you have any extra product for your retailer out there, absolutely log on to fashiondelivers.org and tell us who you are. Seconds, you know, anything else? Yeah, we're looking for samples, a new product, excess inventory. We'll take it off your hands, we'll pick it up. And, and a tax write-off. And absolutely. Great. The company. Really, it helps everyone involved. Alexander, why are you here today? Oh my gosh, he's a little quiet. Fashion delivers. Why are you here? Uh, we're here to support Alexandra's mother today, who was nominated for one of the uh, awards. And uh, we just wanted to show her support. Her mom's Elizabeth Muir, and uh, she'd done a lot of designing with artisans in Afghanistan. And um, yeah, so we're just here to support her. Great. What a beautiful baby. How old? Thank you. Uh, she's just over a month old, so her mom's been juggling work. She was pregnant with a baby in Afghanistan, and she's trying to work her collection while she was out there and deal with being pregnant, so it was quite an ordeal. Well, thank you so much. Look at how beautiful. Thank you for coming. We were back with Alan now, and we're talking about certain people that are on the board of directors that keep giving back. You want to tell us a little bit about some of the people on the board of directors? Sure. When we put the board together, we, we, we were able to get people from the men's industry, the women's industry, the home furnishings industry, uh, and the entertainment industry, uh, as well as the banks and the professional firms that service the, the industry. Um, some of the highlights, we've got Russell Simmons, who's really committed, Great. got a lot of passion. we got Sean Combs. One of our biggest, not on the board, but one of our biggest contributors to date has been a Jay-Z and the Rockaware Group. Been very, very um, generous to us. So uh, Fashion Delivers has really lit a lot of people up in the industry. We're getting a lot of support. And most importantly, there's a lot of passion behind our charity. And we're also going to challenge everyone out there to step up, help out, give, 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 anything you can. FashionDelivers.org. <laughs> Charlie.
Charlie, Charlie, welcome. How are you? I'm doing very well, thanks. How about yourself? Good. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley. Ashley, welcome. What about you? Hi, Nithya. 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 Nithya, why are you here tonight? Uh, for fashion. Fashion. You like Living fashion? Living privilege. Absolutely. How wonderful is that? It's excellent. Good. Charlie and I have been friends a long time. Charlie, so much, so great that you're doing. What are you doing now? Uh, right now, I'm just trying to hang out with the two girls to your side as much as possible. How perfect is that? If you need any help, give me a yell. We've got camera, video, it's all good. Not a problem. So, where are you from? Here. New York? Yeah. I mean, not originally, but now, yeah. Where originally? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. How great is that? Hope you have fun tonight. Thank you. I can't imagine that it's never going to get any different, but it does, and it does I'm here with a couple of ladies. What's your name? Georgia. Welcome. What are you doing here? Uh, we don't really know. We just, we just heard about it, and so we decided to come along. We're from Australia, so we thought... Australia? That's a long way. Yeah, it is. We're just visiting for a couple of weeks. Is everyone here from Australia? Yeah, all us four. Great. Where in Australia are you from? Melbourne. Yeah, what's the fashion like? Same sort of fashion as here in New York as in Australia? There's a bit of the same, but New York's got probably a bit more to offer than Australia does, so it's exciting to see all the new des different designers that they've got here. So you're from, from down under, welcome. Thank so you. how long have you been in the city? Um, nearly a week now. I'm sorry? We're, we're nearly a week. Oh, nearly a week. How great is that? And what do you think about the fashion here in this New York? It's amazing. It's definitely much more ahead of Australia. So. How long are you gals out for? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks total outstanding. Well, welcome. Thanks so much for coming by. The second annual Pay Fashion Ford Awards event. This is a very, very exciting evening for our organization. It is a night to honor and recognize the philanthropic spirit of the fashion industry. I am very excited to introduce our host and special guest for tonight. We're honored that he's here with us to support our cause and our organization. Ladies and gentlemen, Grammy Award winning artist and designer, LL Cool J. We're here with Jessica and Sally from Philanthropist. See, I said that right. I'm you so did, happy. I, I've been practicing for 45 minutes, so I finally got it right. <laughs> Welcome. Tell us a little bit about your uh, your company and what you do. Um, so Philanthropist is a women's clothing and accessory store. We're located in Presidio Heights in San Francisco. Um, we have very high-end high, high -end clients, um, designers like Zach Posen, Vera Wang, Stella McCartney, Du Ree, Richard Chai. Um, some really great labels. Um, and then clothes, jewelry, all of it? Yes, clothes, jewelry, accessories, everything, bags. Great. It's fabulous. So why are you here? <laughs> We're here. <laughs> We're yes, here. that's you. Why, why are you here? We don't really care about her. She's already, we already know why she's here. <laughs> um, we're here being honored by Fashion Delivers. Um, our mission is kind of similar to theirs, and we donate 100% of our profits to local charities that focus on anti-poverty. So we pick a different charity each quarter, um, and we support them by throwing a big launch party at the store to really get the community involved with our store, and then also the community involved with the charity for the quarter. I think it's so wonderful what you do now. Did you, were you raised under giving back to the community? What, why is this so, why are you so passionate about it? Well, we were inspired by um, the company Newman's Own, Paul Newman's company. Um, you know, the salad dressing, sure, spaghetti absolutely. sauces, all of that. Um, and we thought, why not apply it to fashion? It's such a great way to give back to the community. Our customers are really involved in their community, really involved in the store. Um, and we have great pieces. So if you're going to buy a great dress or a great blouse, why not buy it at our store where 100% of the profits sure. go to charity? Now, all the charities, are they local? They are. They're all located in the Bay Area. And what sort of press have you gotten? I mean, obviously, this is a wonderful thing to do. What, what sort of press have you gone out there 
we've actually lucked out with a lot of great press just because, if, to our knowledge, it's kind of the first time that this has been done in the fashion industry. Um, so we were just um, in town and country, we've been in in style, lucky, we were just in the New York Times, and we've been in a lot of local press. Um, so the community around us has been really supportive of our mission and what we're doing so far. Now, I'm not near the area. How do I go? Can I get the stuff online? Can I order online? Can I give you my credit card? Yes, you can do all of the above. Um, Tell us the sign. <laughs> so we're at 3571 Sacramento Street. The cross street is Locust. We're in Presidio Heights in San Francisco. The website is philanthropistboutique.com. So you're going to have to spell that. Sam? Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to put you on the spot again. Okay, <laughs> let's see if I can do this. It's P-H-I-L-A-N-T-H-R-O-P-I-S-T-B-O-U-T-I-Q-U-E.com. I feel like I'm on a spelling bee. Yes. <laughs> see, if you could, you imagine, uh, me trying right, to look that up on true. Google, forget it. Yeah, All right, exactly. no, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate everything that you're doing. It's so wonderful. Thank you so much for being here, and congratulations. Thank you. Loudermilk has spearheaded the creation of a new luxury echo lifestyle, blowing old concepts of environmental living out of the world. Linda Loudman. Let's I am here with Linda Loudermilk. I say it, I'm from Michigan, so I have a problem with that whole milk thing. All right, sounds yeah, good. Sounds thank you good. so much. Welcome. What you're doing is just amazing. Thank you so much for being here with us. Tell us a little bit about your company. Um, well, Linda Loudermilk was uh, founded to do research and development on couture fabrics that are also uh, respectful for the earth and the body. Um, we were the first to do that. We spent millions of dollars on research and development. Finally uh, created fabrics that are suitable for the couture marketplace to compete with the best of designers of the world. Now I know this isn't where you started. It was kind of a natural progression into where you are now. Where did you start? Yeah, I, well I started doing couture on the runways of Paris. Outstanding. Yeah, it was, uh, it was really fabulous, but, uh, and I was honored completely. But I went back to my bedroom and was in tears after my show and knew that there was something more I needed to do because it, it, didn't, it didn't hit my soul. It hurt my heart. I was honored. But my soul, there was something empty. And I knew that there was more to do in the world. What's in the future? What's in the, what are you driving? What is so passionate about? Where do you want to go in the near future? Well, now that we've established the luxury eco platform, it's something that people understand. And that took about eight, nine years to take people from the granola, big skirts and t-shirts to I can compete with the Joneses, I can be in all of my ego and be fabulous and be sustainable and, and care for the earth. Now let's take that idea to businesses. And um, part of our mission is to combine business with nonprofit initiatives uh, to create something new and fresh and sexy for our both. Nonprofits aren't sexy, right. you know? Corporate business is not normally sexy. Right. Fashion is sexy. But you're gonna help them get sexy. Hell yeah. All right. Do How do they get a hold of you? Um, LindaLoudermilk.com. Uh, look perfect. up our number. Linda, it's wonderful what you're doing. Our next honor is giving back on two different fronts. Identity is a line of music tees featuring licensed lyrics. Congratulate you, Frankie Rodriguez. Hi, we're here with Frankie from Identity. Frankie, it's amazing what you've done. Thank you so much for donating your time. Tell us a little bit about what you do and why philanthropic stuff is so important to you. Absolutely. Um, well, hi everyone. I'm uh, Frankie Rodriguez. I'm the brand director at Identity. And, um, you know, yeah, we're, we're a new brand. We started probably about six or seven months ago. Uh, and it's something we've been working on for probably three or four years now. And uh, the entire concept for this brand, for this product, was, was built around music and was built really around sort of people who were really passionate about music, love music. And so early on, we just kind of really realized amongst ourselves that it needed to be more than just another music t-shirt. And that's where we decided right away we wanted to get involved with Eden Live uh, and do something that was going to give back to the artists, to the people. Now, real quick. Yep. Lyrics on t-shirts, that's exactly what this is about. Yep. Tell them, tell them what's selling, what's the favorite lyric out there, what's, you know, what's really hot. Absolutely. So the, the whole concept of identity is, is lyrics that begin with the letter I. So not just any lyrics. So I still haven't found what I'm looking for. I'm a hustler, baby. I used to rule the world. Uh, I love rock and roll. Those are the top four 
they're, they're on fire right now. Great. Outstanding. Now, are you going to move into P's and Q's or strictly stick with I's? No, it is, this whole uh, brand was built around self-expression, so we're going to keep it with the I's. I mean, I think that's what's most personal to people. Not me. Not me. Only yeah. I. Only I. All Only right, I. Gotcha. What about we? Can we throw a little yeah. bit of we in every once in a while? We, we identity is not working for us. Identity is definitely where, where, where we're at. That's where we're staying. Great. Now, as far as being philanthropic, giving back to the community is something that you were raised with. What you know? What what's your driving force with yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, you know, for us, I was born and raised in New York. A lot of the people who work on this are from here, and you know, uh, we've really found everyone who has an opportunity gets that opportunity from somewhere, from someone who sort of come before you, etc. So, uh, you know, we feel really lucky to be able to actually get this brand out there. And so, right away, we wanted to give back. So, you know, whether it's giving back to the artist who and songwriters who actually wrote the lyrics and don't often get enough uh, sort of you know shine enough credit for that, and then also giving back, of course, to the people in Africa uh, and trying to do whatever we can to create sustainable business there was really important to us. Reaching a hand out to help out. Our next item we go by the title Green Fashion Icon. I like that. And a French caller, Indy Super Echo Heroine. Join me in congratulating Chloe Jo Berman of Girly Girl Army. We're with Chloe Jo at Girly Girl Army. From well, Girly Girl. from Girly Girl. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about tonight and why you're here. Um, I think this is a wonderful organization because the truth is you can be glamorous and philanthropic. The two can be synonymous and I think that's why I started my company and I'm so supportive of organizations like this that, you know, kind of give back and they're decadent and they're sexy and they're over the top but at the same time they're doing such wonderful things for the world and helping people that are in need and, you know, that's, that's, that's what it's all about is giving back. There's so many wonderful people. Tell us a little bit about your line and what it's all about. I have a website called Girly Girl Army. It is 300,000 readers, all, we call them green glamazons, and we kind of are dispelling myths, like this is what a vegan looks like, this is what an animal rights activist looks like, this is what an environmentalist looks like, and it's really about changing the world one little bit at a time, and if I get one person to swap out their regular yogurt for soy yogurt, or if I get one person to recycle, it changes the world just a little bit incrementally. So really it's about, I know that being professorial with people and wagging fingers is not going to work. So how do you get to people? You say sex sells, right? Exactly. So if I can say to you, um, environmentalism is an organic margarita and a lap dance, and maybe the pasties are made out of hemp, you'd be way more apt to be, you know, in, in, involved in the movement. So that's really what I'm about, and it's about saving lives, saving animals, and helping the world, and still having fun. Sure. So it's so wonderful, especially with yeah. the internet that's happening, blogging, tweeting. That's right. Tell us a little bit about what you. You do also how they get a hold of you on what site? Um, my site is girlygirlarmy.com, G I R L I E, girl. And you know, I tweet and I'm, you know, I think the um, internet age and the, but more so the um, social networking age has really done amazing things for causes and for philanthropy and for being able to, to like get like, like minds together. So. And make sure people are aware of it, making exactly. sure that people are out there. Yeah, Absolutely. so we have a great community of, of women and men, even though it's called Girly Girl Army, who really are supportive and love what we do and are really active, active right. members. So we can't great. thank you enough for your thank commitment you so and your time. Tonight we honor Jones of Power Group. Join me in congratulating Jones CEO, Wes Hall. Wes, tell us a little bit about the event tonight. Well, this is an event for Fashion Delivers, which is a, uh, a charitable organization which helps get clothes and shoes and fashion where it's needed. Uh, we're getting an award, actually, my company, which we're very proud of for our support of Jones New York in the classroom and uh, Shoes on 7th and many different initiatives that we work on as a company. Why is giving back to the community so important to you and your organization? Well, it's important to us just as a, as a company with the resources we have to use those to help the community, but it's more important for our associates. It gives all, we have over 10,000 people around the company and it gives them a chance to give back it, personally to the community. For example, we give people a couple of hours a month off to work for education in the local classrooms, and that's really a great thing. I really applaud your commitment. So many organizations and businesses don't take the time to realize how important it is. So thank you so much. Really appreciate it. And thank you and everyone that works with you to further all your help. Thank you. This is Michael Wadaika from WVBH Hamptons Television with you live from Fashion Delivers.